Hi everybody! In this video, I will share my acne story and treatment regimen recommended by my dermatologist. I'm going to tell you some tips on how to minimize acne flare-ups and breakouts. So just stay tuned and keep on watching. At one point in my life, I suffered from severe acne way back 2016 when I was still working in the UAE. I believe that this condition was attributed to my long-term use of Fusicort, which was a steroid-based ointment used to treat any swelling, redness, or itchiness in the skin. I also used this as a spa treatment every time I get a pimple. It was later when I realized that the product was not advisable for long-term treatment. And so, I kinda develop a rebound skin reaction from the drug itself. It caused severe acne breakouts on my face, uh, specifically on the lower lip area and both of my cheeks. I visited a well-known dermatologist in Cebu to seek treatment. According to him, most Asians have an oily type of skin, or a combination of both dry and oily skin, making them prone to skin breakouts. Another factor to consider was the weather. In Middle East countries, it was almost always hot and humid during the days. But per my dermatologist, the biggest factor that might have caused my condition was the long-term use of the steroid ointment. I opened up with my doctor about the use of isotretinoin, commonly known as Accutane. I did my research and thought this was a miracle drug for severe acne. My doctor discouraged the use of isotretinoin as this may cause severe uh, kidney or liver adverse effects which may be irreversible later on. But that time, I was too desperate and I asked him if I could go for the isotretinoin drug therapy but he insisted and he was just uh, concerned about my health. He advised me to go for a combination therapy which was the use of an oral antibiotic together with some topical creams. Per my dermatologist, I was still so young so why should I be on a rush? In short, he didn't want to compromise my health during the treatment process. First on the list of the combination therapy was the doxycycline. I had to take this orally for about a month and the dosage was 100 milligrams, I believe. This antibiotic targets the bacteria called P. acnes or Propionibacterium acnes, which were the major causes for pimples on the skin. After a month of oral antibiotic, I shifted to a topical antibiotic gel known as clindamycin so as to prevent bacterial resistance. Along with antibacterials, I also applied the following on my face. These are the adapalene gel, meconazole cream, benzoyl peroxide, and sunscreen. Now let's talk about adapalene gel. This is an anti-acne drug which works by stopping pimples from forming under the surface of the skin. Next would be the meconazole cream. I know this is an antifungal cream, but I believe this was used in order to minimize the redness on my skin. On a side note, before application of the creams, you must wash your face with a mild cleanser, a cleanser without alcohol content, as alcohol-based products might cause further irritation on the skin. Before, 
I used Cetaphil, but eventually resorted in using Safeguard, the white bar soap. I find this to be cheap and non-irritating. Also, limit the washing of your face to twice a day. Frequent washing would also lead to further skin irritation. Another topical agent I used was the benzoyl peroxide. This works by peeling away the skin to get rid of dead skin cells, excessive oil, and bacteria that may be trapped underneath your skin. Of all the medications, this one causes the most side effects, which include dryness and redness of the skin. Last would be the sunscreen with SPF of 150. You can use sunscreens of your choice, but make sure it is non-comedogenic, meaning it is non-pimple forming or it does not block your pores. Never start or end your day without putting on a sunscreen, may it be you are in your home or outside. During the first few months of the therapy, I noticed more and more pimples were purging out from my face. I thought this was abnormal, but I was wrong. This was an expected outcome of the therapy. It took me some time to adjust with the topical creams along with the side effects. I even had to stand in front of an electric fan during every application so as to control the discomfort. I did this routine religiously and believe me or not, I was able to see the results in 4 to 6 months. It might not be that fast but it's worth it. Being devoted in following a recommended therapy really pays off. So if you were recommended the same therapy I had, though medications might not be exactly the same, please, please, please do not easily give up. Take some time for the medications to work and for your body to adapt. This is the current condition of my face. So two years after using the combination therapy, I decided to use only two products and this would be the benzoyl peroxide and the sunscreen. So I use these uh, two products for about uh, two years already, I guess. Please also note that uh, benzoyl peroxide may bleach your clothes, so you should be careful in applying these uh, onto your face. I develop breakouts from time to time. As you can see, I am starting to develop some uh, small bumps again. Uh, due to this, I started applying Adapalene gel again, like a week ago. So this is the Adapalene gel. Brand name is Differing. I am including this in my current treatment regimen. So technically, I am using uh, three products. It's the Adapalene gel, the benzoyl peroxide, and the sunscreen. So this is how you apply the creams. First, I am applying the Adaplin gel. So you're just gonna get a pea size of the cream. And you, you know, apply it on your face. So a pea size can you know accommodate or you can put it almost on like one third of your face and another pea size for the other side another pea size for my forehead 
So I'm gonna wait like a minute or two for the medication to absorb and then I, I can apply the uh, next cream which is the benzoyl peroxide. So for the benzoyl peroxide you're just gonna get another pea size. You apply it one third of your face. Another pea size for the other side. Another pea size for my forehead. So I'll apply the sunscreen. So we'll just get a pea size. Now we're done. So I'm doing this application twice a day. So that's it. For sure, I will be having more breakouts in the coming weeks. But again, that is normal since Adaplin gel and uh, benzoyl peroxide tend to uh, bring out all the pimples that are trapped underneath your skin. So I don't need to worry about this since this is a normal effect of the medication. So that's my journey in fighting acne. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have learned something from this. And if you do have some questions or concerns, please drop them in the comment section down below. And I will try to respond to all your queries as soon as possible. Please subscribe to my channel and share this video as well. Take care and bye bye bye!